Um, yeah, this is to welcome you all to our service, our first service that streams online. Um, Eric Muredi is my name. I am super energized uh, about this morning um, because for one, it is Youth Sunday, right? Um, it's Youth Sunday, it's a commitment that we have as, uh, as the church um, to take initiative and we're so grateful for the opportunity from the leadership um, to just, um, you know, be able to, 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 to share from our perspectives, right? Um, today we're going to be talking about purpose. It's going to be a sermon based on purpose and our theme scripture is going to be from Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 and it says that we are God's handiwork for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do and um, this is just I think very timely because I think for young people I know we find ourselves in crossroads and for everyone really I know that some in some in some portions of scripture it says that I think there was one lady who was or one one person who was you know very very well advanced in age and eventually when they did uh, when when they did pass away um, it said that hey um, the angels were saying hey the, the the boy this boy has come to to join us so yeah I think youth is something that's relative um, we're all young at heart I believe but yeah I believe at, uh, for young people sometimes you know we find ourselves in crossroads right we're not so clear on some of the steps uh, that we should make we often find ourselves in situations um, that you know cause us to make really major decisions you know things like deciding the course that you'll study um, selecting a university choosing a career path um, even choosing friends recently i was on social media and i saw a, a meme right and it was just about you know in your 20s you're not very very sure you know the direction to take i think there's so many things um, so many directions you can take. You're not sure if you should go on a on a hike. You're not sure if you should go on a on a uh, climb a mountain. You're not so sure if you should go pursue a master's. Not sure, so sure you know the degree you should take. So it was just this gentleman. He was in the middle, and he was faced with all of these options. You're not so sure if you should move out of your house, uh, your parents' house. You're not so sure if you should settle into a relationship. These are all the options in the meme. Um, you're not sure if you should build a home, learn a new language, move out of your city. Possibly, you know, choose new friends, right? So, yeah, a lot of these decisions um, may seem like small decisions, but I feel like each and every one of them does carry, like, you know, uh, a lot of significance, right? They seem, they might seem a bit insignificant, but really and truly, they aren't, right? Um, just a quick story. So, most recently, I know in Kenya and I think even across Africa, we've been having this wave of, you know, uh, reform social justice pro protests and I remember that um, I was telling my family hey I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to be on the streets right <laughs> remember I told them I'm gonna be on the streets um, and I, I was I was really receiving a lot of backlash from from a lot of my relatives that were saying hey don't go this is not your place etc etc what 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 um, anyway found myself going and when eventually the announcement was made for um, uh, the the bill to be dropped, I remember everyone was celebrating us, and everyone was celebrating with with, with the decision that that we made, the, the the courage that we took, and the and the initiative that we that we had to go and really stand up for our rights. Right? I'm building up to something. I'm just giving some context. Um, and yeah, like I said, we're talking about purpose. Um, of course, many are, are a man's plans in his heart, but obviously God, you know, directs all of his steps. I remember at some point, um, my, my, my goal, my personal goal, um, was yeah, to, you know, uh, just pursue uh, sports, right, and to pursue football particularly. And I was about 18 or 19, and I remember um, I, I, I got an offer, actually, to play at a second division club um, in, in Kenya. Um, I told my parents, hey guys, I think this is a fantastic opportunity. I don't want to miss it. Um, this story of you guys for going to A-levels, I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. Um, I'm, I'm pursuing this. But anyway, the, my parents being the people who they were, um, really persuaded me. And obviously it was a, a tough time. It was a challenging time. I remember um, at around the same time, 
um, a lot was happening with my friends. I think I lost a lot of friends. A lot of my friends, you know, were going to like, you know, different, different places. And I remember being, I remember feeling very alone and I remember be feeling very, you know, isolated. And I really questioned, um, you know, God's purposes for my life. I really questioned what uh, God was really doing because I, I didn't understand it. Um, and we're going to talk about this a bit later, how, you know, God really brings new things. He, 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 he sets, um, he's, a, he's a God of new beginnings, right? So anyway, frustrating time. Uh, one thing led to another. Um, and I, I, I personally believe that um, in that season when, you know, things really didn't make, out, make sense, things didn't really make sense for me, I think God was in a way, you know, directing my steps. Yeah, amen, hallelujah. So yeah, um, I'd like to pivot from this and just speak about tunnels, right? And um, God um, promises that that he'll never leave us, nor will he forsake us, right? So let's speak about tunnels. So what, what, is, what is a tunnel? So a tunnel is a phase in your life where you are not sure about what's happening, where you find yourself feeling like everything is going wrong. I like what um, Rev says, um, uh, says um, speaks about how you know, in the physical realm, th things might, not, might seem like they're going crazy. But really and truly in heaven, you know, nothing, nothing is, um, things, are not, things are not changing. Heaven is unmoved, right? Um, the Bible even says in, um, some, it says somewhere in the Bible that um, um, where there's a going down in the city, in your lives and in the lives of believers, there will be a lifting up. Hallelujah. So it doesn't matter what is happening on the physical, in the physical realm. That is my persuasion. Heaven is unmoved. And so as long as we um, are aware of, what, of, 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 of God's purposes for our life and as long as we, are, um, as long as we allow him to you know, take precedence in our life, he most certainly will take um, will 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 take our will 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 move us in the right direction, right? So yeah, Christ. Um, yeah, so tunnels tunnels is a place where you can't wait to get uh, to the end, um, where there is some light or where there is a breakthrough. In a tunnel, things don't make sense. You feel like uh, life is not fair. You feel like um, you feel like you deserve better. But in the tunnels is where you know. Um, um, perseverance, your perseverance is tested. And in James chapter 1, verse 2 to 4, the Bible says that we should consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Amen. In other sections of scripture, um, particularly in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15 to 16, it says, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to feel sympathy with our weakness, but we have one who has been tested with um, in every measure just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. So what if actually tunnels find um, a lead us to our purpose? What if tunnels lead us to our purpose? And what if the challenges that we endure actually lead us to the purpose that God predestined for our life? Um, someone gave me the analogy one time that trying to make it in today's world is like trying to drive up a mountain with the handbrake engaged. I don't think that one I don't think that's, that's what we want for our lives, right? Of course, you will get there. But um, there is more efficient ways to achieve results in um, the kingdom of God and even in other you know, areas of our life by allowing you know, his grace to carry us. Um, by, effective, by allowing him to dwell richly in you, right? Because the reality is that God, God loves you. Right? He really does. And he says that we were actually created in his image. 
Hallelujah. So we were created in his image. Um, and um, his, his goal is for us to, you know, um, have his kingdom, on, his kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven, right? Um, that we as believers can reflect his excellence, that we can reflect his, his joy, his happiness, his uh, magnificence in this earthly, in, in this earthly realm. Hallelujah. So he's made us in his image. We have been told in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, um, let us make, this is what it says, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air. Amen. Um, in John chapter 4, verse 7, and this is just to build on the fact that, you know, God, God really loves us and um, we most certainly were created in his image. John chapter 4, verse 7 says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever has been born of God and knows God, anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. So God loved us and he gave us his only begotten son, right? That whoever so believed shall not perish but have eternal life. And the most beautiful thing is, yeah, he, he, he loved us so much that he gave. So God is a giver. He realized that, hey, the path that we were going down um, uh, was leading us to death. And um, in his wisdom, um, he, descended, he came on earth, lived among us, and presented himself as a living sacrifice. And once he ascended back to heaven, he left us his spirit. Amen. Um, I was reading in one of the Gospels the other day, and he spoke of John the Baptist, who was a great, great man. Right? He baptized people. Um, but in Matthew chapter 11, and this is something that was very striking for me, it says that he who is least in the kingdom um, is greater than, 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 than John. Right? So how can we live, um, how can we really, really um, walk according to, you know, the purpose that God has predestined for us, right? Um, I'm persuaded, you know, that one of the ways that we can walk according to that purpose is to, you know, invite, um, um, is, is through, you know, um, receiving him as Lord and personal savior. And I am persuaded, you know, that uh, through that partnership between heaven and earth, that through having you know communion between the holy spirit and us that we are able to live according to the purposes that god has predestined for our life amen so yeah like i said this journey starts by accepting him as lord and savior of our lives and pursuing a relationship with him and i was and i was and i was thinking about this the other day and um, if we can invite as, 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 as people, we can invite, you know, various spirits to, you know, um, we can invite the spirit, spirit various spirits in, into our lives um, through, you know, um, the media that we expose ourselves to, ourselves to, we can, we can invite, you know, um, spirits of, of, you know, uh, I would say like lust, I would say we can invite spirits of alcoholism, we can invite spirits of of deceit indirect uh, knowingly and unknowingly right um but what happens when we invite the highest spirit um which is the spirit of god so yeah this um journey really starts with pursuing a relationship with him and by accepting him as lord and personal savior so yeah um uh, I was. I, I think at some point I, I spoke briefly about relationships and love and how God really wants a, a relationship with you. And um, if I had a friend, yeah, and I didn't, and 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 I took them seriously, I would, as much as possible, try to be as good to them and try to, you know, treat them as I would want uh, to be treated, right? So if I had a friend, then maybe Sam is my friend here. And I tell you tomorrow I'll meet you um, in town. And tomorrow I don't come to town, you know. 
um, you'll probably think that I'm not that serious with you. And, um, and I think that's the same, um, just building up on that analo- analogy, um, sometimes that is what we do um, with God. Sometimes, you know, he's, he's, he's said that he's welcomed us in. He's, he's, he's said that he wants to have communion with us. But um, we need to also, you know, take that relationship seriously and strive to build it um, if we have to go to school for 16 years to, you know, have a, uh, you know, generally 844, 16 years, I don't think we even do 844 anymore. Um, but yeah, if we, if we have to do uh, schooling maybe for 16 years to have a general, you know, idea of the world and, and how things work, I'm persuaded um, that we probably also need to um, really take time and invest in a relationship with God. I don't think it's enough to just say... Um, uh, you've come listen to a few someone that you know God, but it's to constantly you know seek a relationship with Him, and I'm persuaded of the fact that um, uh, you know love love is a is, is a is a is a strong emotion. It's a hard emotion. It's not I love you do anything, right? I think love is something that um, uh, you, I love you. I I trust you. I've, I've, I I want the best for you. I'm persuaded of the fact that. You know, um, it's 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 a hard emotion, and it really, really um, wants people to. Uh, it causes people to, you know, follow a certain path. I think even the love of God, as much as yeah, He gives us grace. Um, um, God's love also demands a lot of us, right? It demands uh, from us our time. It demands of us um, how we treat our pe- uh, people around us. Amen. So yeah, I said I was talking about relationship and, and love, and this is all this is all building into you know the whole concept of of purpose, right? And I was listening to someone yesterday who was saying how um, they gifted uh, a lady a box of chocolates, right, or goodies, and what this lady did a few days later is actually return the the gift as it was, yeah, uh, gave it back as it was literally back to sender, you know? I Me, mean, I can't relate. I don't think that's never happened to me. I'm just, I'm just that kind of guy. <laughs> um, no, um, you guys are laughing like maybe it's never happened. Maybe it's never happened to you guys. I know people that it's happened to anyway. Um, so yeah, I was listening to this guy. So God's desire is for us to reciprocate the love that he's given us. Amen. And in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, it says that we should tr- to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Right? So, yeah, back to, the, you know, the concept on the tunnel. Um, we've learned about, you know, God's love for us. Um, we learned about, you know, partnership between heaven and earth. Um, we spoke briefly about the tunnel, right? And, you know, being in situations that, you know, really, we're, we're not, we're, we, we, we feel like um, um, that we're not very sure of, right? So, yeah, I believe as we go through tunnels, um, like we saw in, um, in this scripture here, James chapter 1, um, that whenever we face trials and temptation, to consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Amen? So the message um, is to watch out for the light um, inside the tunnel. Many of us are stuck up in the idea of the light at the end of the tunnel, so we put our head down sometimes, ignoring and missing everything in the tunnel, which is why sometimes we end up quitting before we ever get to the end of the tunnel, right? Something might happen in the morning and we already feel like, hey, this is a bad day and we can't wait to get home. So we ignore everything positive that could have happened. Amen? So sometimes in the tunnel, you can experience a total blackout. Some things, people, things don't make sense when you're in the tunnel. Um, you, can ima- you can imagine many weird things and in this instance, a tunnel is a phase. So as people, we go through many phases in life that feel like we are in the dark. Many things are going wrong 
and we can't just wait for the light at the end of the tunnel the thing about tunnels is they don't end right um uh as we move through the tunnels in life we build up capacity to move through them as we walk according to his purpose amen so imagine someone completing a seven year you know medical course but not having any knowledge whatsoever about medicine it's crazy it's hard to think about even um each tunnel you go through is supposed to teach you something that will help you in the next your struggle in one tunnel is supposed to help yield fruits in the next um i used to play football and that's that's something i'm it's, it's something i'm very passionate about um so for example let's take for example a guy named uh Pel- Pe- Pelly, Pelly, uh whose goal has always been to play in the premier league though it takes him nine years um to get to the premier league during those nine years as he's been in the tunnel he still celebrated wins he still celebrated you know goals scored he celebrated assists he celebrated you know um titles won all of this while in the tunnel so just because you're not you may not be where you want to be yet doesn't mean there's nothing good and there's nothing to thank god about where you are right now imagine if peli didn't celebrate the wins because he wasn't in the premier league that would be you know 10 years wasted don't you think so the tunnel can be a long phase um but it doesn't mean that it's all bad no matter how dire your situation is there's something good about where you are um i know we all want to get to the end of the tunnel where things are working out for us you know when we have our dream job when we're driving our dream cars basically having all our hearts desires filled but don't forget there's a tunnel to get through and in the tunnel is where you find the tools that will build and sustain you once you're out of the tunnel amen and as we conclude i'd like us to think about three things as we strive to walk in according to god's purposes um number one is are you ready to put pressure on the word um we're talking about purpose and i like saying you know to um put a place a premium on god's word right um bible says that he has exalted his word above his own name so it's important for us um as young people um to really really study the word of god for ourselves one of my favorite scriptures um psalms 119:97 was 102 101 um here it speaks about um david i think this was david and he says how um through reading the word it makes him wiser than his enemies and gives him more insight than um than his teachers amen so this is what the word does for you so as we strive to walk in purpose may we be reminded today to place a premium on god's word and to really study it for ourselves it says in ninth room verse 97 oh how i love your law i meditate on it all day long your com- your commands are always with me and make me wiser than my enemies i have more insight than all my teachers for i meditate on your statutes i have more understanding than the elders for i obey your precepts i have kept my feet from every evil path so that i may obey your word I have not departed from your laws for you yourself have taught me how sweet are your words to my taste sweeter than honey to my mouth i gain understanding from your precept precepts therefore i hate every wrong path amen so let's strive to read the word of god for ourselves let's read strive to really really take the time to um build faith because um the bible is you know sharper than any double edged sword and how do we build faith how can we walk how can we walk in faith it's by you know exposing ourselves to you know material written visual audio that really really um um speaks about you know the word of god bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word um let's allow the word of god you know to dwell richly in us amen this is Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 it says keep this book of the law always on your lips meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it 
then you will be prosperous and successful amen so as we strive to walk according to our purpose let's put pressure on the word amen hallelujah so let's um second thing that i would like us to second thing i would like us to do as we strive to you know walk according to our purpose is to you know get ready for for a change are you ready um for a change bible says that god is a god of new beginnings hallelujah um he's a god of new beginnings and in isaiah 43 verse um 19 it says um Isaiah 43 19 says see I am doing a new thing now it springs up do you not perceive it we've been talking about tunnels this morning um as we go through tunnels sometimes it doesn't make sense you know um why we're being put through you know these why we why we're going through you know some of these some of these trials some of these tribulations right but the bible says see I am doing a new thing now it springs up do you not perceive it so let's um, be cognizant of the fact that as uh, that God has a purpose for our life and he will surely bring it to completion as we um, walk ac- as, as, as we yield ourselves and as we yield our, our every, every facet of our lives so our finances, our job, our business, our family as we yield that to him and that's a challenge that I will give us all to commit every, sing- every single thing that pertains to our life lay it onto the throne of grace and allow him you know unreservedly just say look this is what i have i put I, I place it here before you use it for your glory amen so are we ready for a change god is doing a new thing um now it springs up do you not perceive it um and as we conclude our last point um as we strive to walk in according to the purpose that god has predestined for us what kind of rewards are you looking for are you looking for the right kind of rewards Um, We spoke about this earlier that James reminds us that the testing of our faith produces perseverance. Amen. To let perseverance finish its work so that we may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. May we strive to surrender our plans and embrace God's purpose. Um, We will find peace and fulfillment beyond what you imagine as you know we surrender our plans to god it's not necessarily about worldly success but it's about filling god's mission in the great commission you know god says go out and make disciples of men and uh we've spoken severally about you know uh the mountains um uh, on um the mountains that you know believers are called to and believers that believers are called you know to occupy i think in some sections of scripture of scripture it talks about how um god says you know to occupy until until i come back amen so we're called to not just uh you know um coast through life but to actually take initiative to occupy uh to occupy until he comes back in uh, some translations you know that means you know to do business it means to you know um my persuasion is you know just to really really make the most of every single thing everything that you've been called to amen so whether it's in ministry um like we've talked about the great commission to go and make disciples of men may people see god in you amen may people see god in the quality of your work may people see god in the quality of how you treat people may people see uh and may you reflect god in 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 everything you know amen uh scripture references matthew 6 19 to 20 so do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, but store up treasures in heaven. As we conclude, I've said that maybe three times now. Um, it's a charge to all of us to commit, to make a lifetime commitment to purpose. Um, we are, we've, 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 we've been... We, we are, we, we've been called to, you know, this life and we've been called, you know, to different areas. Um, are we ready to, you know, make a lifetime commitment to purpose? Are we ready to seek the right kind of results? Are we ready, you know, to make disciples of men? Whether it's in ministry, whether it's in your job, whether it's in music, whatever it is. Um, 
Romans 12 verse 1 says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifice, as a living hi- sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, for this is your true and proper worship. So as we wrap up, I would like you to reflect on your purpose. Remember, it's not being, uh, it's not about being like someone else, but it's, by em- it's about embracing the unique design God has for you. Amen? Um, so this week, let's spend some time in prayer, uh, asking God to reveal your next step. Maybe it's, you know, um, a conversation that you can have. Maybe it's volunteering or, you know, just trying something new. Um, and I believe um, we most certainly uh, will, will achieve God's purposes um, here on earth. Amen. So allow me to just say a prayer as we, as we end. Heavenly Father, humbly come before your presence. We are so grateful, O oh God, for this day that you have given us. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the word that you have, you have given us. We are so grateful for it. Pray that, O oh Lord, even as we um, uh, wrap up this service, pray that, Lord, you um, may really, really just uh, light up every living room, O oh God, every you know home, every um, person, spirit, O oh God, that, that, that's listening to this message. We speak, O oh God, uh, purpose, O oh God. We say that, O oh Lord, we live, uh, we live everything, O oh God, that pertains to our life to your throne of grace we say that oh god you um use us for your glory and honor lord in this season of our lives in jesus name i pray amen